say that one was warranted. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I wanted to ask about, um, okay, so you're sitting there with the wedding book. So I wanted to ask like, um, okay, firstly, why did you want to get married? Should I answer that or? Oh yeah, oh, wait, actually, wait, no, wait, well, I've got you. There's another episode where we talked about the proposal and I'm not gonna lie, it was slightly underwhelming. So what did you think of the proposal? <laughs> um, like short hairs. <laughs> well, I <laughs> really liked the proposal because it was a kind of a weekend of surprises Aww. for me. Um, so yeah, no, I really liked like the proposal. It was quite low key, um, but then that's that's Mr. White. Um, he's, <laughs> he's quite. You're low allowed key. to say his name. We're just not allowed to say yours. Yeah. you want us to. <laughs> yeah. But I um, I wanted to get married. I think. Um, just to kind of show that next level of commitment. Yeah. Um, but I think I was quite relaxed about it. I wasn't. I don't think I was really pressuring you, was I? No. Um, <laughs> it's on the to-do list, but it doesn't matter when, as long as it's in the next five years. You kept making jokes every time I bought you a gift. Oh, this a ring. It'd be like a watch-shaped box or something. And you'd be like, oh. Well, you don't <laughs> buy someone a watch in a ring-shaped box. <laughs> ring and watch-shaped box. Unless you're getting really, really ahead of yourself there. I mean, it's like, it's like dude, no. <laughs> this would better be a ring. It's like this massive box. Come on, baby. <laughs> so um, so you wanted to do it because, you know, you felt you were at that stage in life, yeah. both of you, and it felt like the right person at the right time. And clearly you're right, he said, seven months in. No, a year and a half now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did yeah. you do for your first anniversary? <laughs> I don't know if it was a bit. Uh, we didn't do anything that spectacular. I think what did I, what do we do? Um, we went, I went to the theatre. Then we went bowling. I thought like try to bring it back to the old school days of like dating. Oh, try to cute. do something, something that we we used to go bowling. We used to have fun. Then lockdown happened and you couldn't do anything. So I just wanted to do something like that's actually quite yeah, romantic. Yeah. Like, that's really sweet. Then we went out for dinner as well after that. That is sweet. Yeah. I mean, that is really cute. I mean, like, you know, I've got nothing. Um, yeah, what a lovely, like, that's a lovely little date. Because that's yeah. the thing, you always do, do, are you worried that you're going to date less as a couple now that you're married and live together? I think well, you still might want to do the dating thing. I think we have, together, I think we have dated less, but recently we've been trying to at least do one date We've been night a month having a least. date night. Yeah. Thing. Oh, that's yeah. cute. What, like once a week, once a month? What, about once a about? month, once or twice a month, it depends. Do you get dressed up and stuff like that? It's like, oh my darling, you look amazing. I know, but I know, might you be chose just, the dress. It might be something, <laughs> small, it might be something that's more of just going to the cinema, just... Yeah, yeah you just doing do. something just yeah. the two of you. you like, really when important. you live with each other, you're like, oh, we can just watch Netflix and stay in all day. And it's just like, you don't get to do mm. that stuff that made you like each other in the first place. So Yeah. yeah, it just, yeah it's just about doing more of that. And obviously lockdown happened, so you was, was unable to do a lot of that for most of the year. But um, now, we, now we're able to do what we want. We, want we, we try to implement that a lot more, don't you think? Yeah, we try to have yeah. date nights. Um, and try to make a bit more of an effort mm. as to what we wear. <laughs> you're saying that you're both in slacks. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, when we go out, yeah, I mean, you can tell that I'm the guest because I'm the only one wearing jeans. Um, <laughs> slovenly people. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, but no, it's just like um, so. Okay, let's get on to the process bit. Obviously, a lot of people trying to get married these days. Um, you guys started. I assume you started with a bigger plan than you ended up with, because otherwise, I'd have been there. Yeah. Um, because I was one of the groomsmen. Thank you very so much. For for anybody that. listening, Quite the um, we only got married with fifteen people, so we had uh, had my best man. You had your maid of honor, and um, you had your grandparents and your parents. And you cut the star of yeah. the show. And I had a few of my, I had my mum and I had my cousins and aunts. But it was a very small wedding because of COVID. Yeah. You should and have seen your uncle on the on the TV thing though, because I was watching it from the. Uh, sorry, I'm making it about me now. Um, you know, like I was watching it on the thing and like halfway through your vows one of your uncles goes I can't hear them mm -hmm. and you just get this big ear in the screen and everyone was like fuck mm. <laughs> like, so for anybody any, anybody listening we had um had our wedding on like zoom as well for people that couldn't make it mm. yeah I um it was weird to be popping a bottle of champagne mm -hmm. dressed up from like the waist up <laughs> it was really hard um because we had originally 100 people booked yeah. mm. and we had to cut it down to 30 and then to 15 and yeah it was brutal it really mm. was brutal and the, the funny thing was that on the actual wedding day 
the venue asked us how many people we were allowed to have. They had no idea. They had no idea yeah, that we were only supposed to have 15 because, people. Because our government changed the rules so quickly each Literally time. Literally the week of yeah. the wedding, actually. Yeah, because yeah, I remember, like, you know, like, I was like, all right, well, stay at home then. And then um, <laughs> I think the, the day before the wedding, he made an announcement. So it was looking that they might cancel wedding full stop, but he gave us about, gave like four days. He said in four days, we're going back into lockdown, which means weddings will be cancelled. So lucky enough, we were able to squeeze it in. Because it's funny, because I, I remember... The whole process i bought my suit and everything but then um it was looking like we might go into lockdown again so i'm, like, I'm not gonna buy anything else so i didn't buy my wedding shoes so i remember being down the west end yeah going i went to the west end the day before the wedding to buy my wedding shoes and i'm looking at my phone like should i buy these now or is he gonna got put us back into lockdown that's yeah weird but okay so let's get on to the wedding book because obviously mm. there was a lot of planning that went into this before boris johnson came along and hypocritically messed everyone's lives up um not that it's political um wanker uh okay so with yours okay so you've got the wedding book there and i'm noticing that if you're flicking through it when i say book i don't mean a little notepad i mean it's, wanna... a, it's a book it's a full-on like you know like there are chapters in this thing okay go on give it a flick let's give yeah. it a flick all right love the gold by the way <laughs> ladies love the gold okay i mean this page is oh my goodness all right i have not even thought about any of this 27 one photographer two questions did you write two equestrians? I oh, know, receptionists. To buy? My goodness me. You've got more planning in this than I have in buying a house. I think I mentioned in the proposal episode that when it comes to planning a wed- wedding, it's that the woman... Yeah, it's not in your handwriting, that's it? for sure. The woman takes over. <laughs> so I, I, this is the, probably my first time seeing this book. or <laughs> I had no involvement in any of this. This is incredible organisation. No wonder you're getting paid the big bucks compared <laughs> to us. Like, this is crazy. I... I mean, the budgeting alone for stamp, wait, stamp duty, sorry. Oh no, that's... Uh, what was the weirdest thing that you ended up having to spend money on? I think it has some house stuff in there as well. Oh, okay. At the beginning, yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to jump into stamp duty. <laughs> um, okay, but like, okay, so what was the weirdest thing you ended up spending money on? Uh, weirdest thing. Mm. I don't know about weird, but the most, the thing that surprised me the most in terms of expense was definitely photography. Oh yeah. How much is that? Well, starting price is typically around fifteen hundred. I thought you were going to say six hundred for a package. A for a that's package. cheap. That's a, that's, a that's, that's cheap. a standard. That's cheap. Yeah. yeah fifteen hundred pounds for some photos. Yeah, uh, wedding photos are really expensive. The thing about um, wow. when you on the wedding day, you turn into a massive photo shoot. You can end up spending yeah. half of your day taking photos. Yeah, that's what I've noticed yeah. when I've been at weddings. It's like okay, you know, and everyone just wants to go and have a party and get yeah. drunk. And you got some photographer going. Everyone just squeeze in, squeeze yeah. in, squeeze in for twenty minutes. I think I heard somebody say that um, you, you have to sort of tell the photographer that when to stop because obviously they're doing their passion. They love taking yeah. photos, so they will take they'll take photos all day long if they if, if you let them. But you have to also um, allow yourself to um, enjoy the day. Because I, I remember, you know, like when you have your dessert, I remember having like custard and cake. And then I, I, I didn't get to dig into it. And I had to go and take some photos. And then what? by the time I got back to it, it was cold. Yeah, I didn't the enjoy the cake. foods. Yeah. I, it was cold what? by the time I yeah, got yeah. to eat it, yeah. Well, because the photographer. Yeah. You paid that dickhead 1500 to ruin your meal. <laughs> Your first meal as a couple, wedding breakfast? To be fair, well, he did a brilliant job, so I wouldn't Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's not slagging yeah. off on the podcast. He did a brilliant job, but I mean, you spend most of it. You don't get to enjoy yourself as, as a, a, like a guest would. But the best picture of the candid yeah. ones are people being drunk. I mean, like, <laughs> I think weddings are much funner when you're a guest. Yeah. 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 Do you think on that note that given the process, of, I mean, how long did it take you to plan it? This was about a year's planning. This is the most YouTube thing we're ever going to do. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please do like and subscribe.